Language and culture go hand in hand. As to fully understand a language, we need to understand the bit about the target culture. For instance, the social convention of please and thank you in the English speaking world. It's important to learn about who speaks the language and how they live to make that language real and not just a collection of words for the children to learn. Peterson and Coltrane state that students cannot truly master the language until they have also mastered the cultural context in which the language occurs. Claire Cramsh points out, if language is seen as a social practice, culture becomes the very core of language teaching. Cultural awareness must then be viewed as enabling language proficiency. Culture in language teaching is not an expendable fifth skill tacked on, so to speak, to the teaching of speaking, listening, reading and writing. For these reasons, culture is an important part of Big Surprise. In years one and two, the children learn about cultural events like Halloween, Christmas and Carnival. Every two units there is a review section which is based on cultural ideas like birthdays and how English speaking children celebrate their birthdays or a visit to a safari park that English children might do with their family. And finally in this book shopping. At these levels it's important to find cultural items that really interest the children of this age group.